Good afternoon and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View Celtic News channel. And in this afternoon's news, you've got to have a laugh at Shea Logan. Um, remember, Shea Logan has been known for one thing, and that's for th spitting the dummy out back in 2014 and making accusations against a Celtic player at the time. He's, uh, he's made a name for himself again. And you've got to, let's, before we talk about Celtic, before we talk about Kiwan and <coughs> his bold, bold claims uh, that he has made before he's joined up with Celtic. He's made some fantastic boasts. We'll talk about him in just a minute. But let's look at Shea Logan, first of all. We'll look at the history of Shea Logan and what he achieved in his career, which was nada. Okay, he came through the youth system at Man City. He went to Brentford. He then went to Aberdeen on loan and then ended up at Cove Rangers after a loan spell at Hearts. Fantastic career for the man, and, and I'm sure that when Scott sits back and sits in his office down south and um, gets ready to take up his role in second year management, and he looks back on his fantastic career, and he picks out a Shane Logan card right out of his back pocket and says, yep, that's where you were all my career, Shane, in my back pocket. For him, it's Shane to get himself in front of a picture of Scott Brown up in Aberdeen and get himself his picture taken with his fingers up as... Uh, what can you say? Anyway, we move on for that. Celtic is obviously in Japan. They have touched down. They're having a fantastic time. And as is Paul the Tim, he's there as well. And he looks as if he's having an absolute ball, Paul. So enjoy yourself. But we need to talk about our transfers. Celtic are obviously going to make the big announcement this week about our two South Korean transfers. And there's one midfield player that's on his way to Parkhead that has uh, he's been talking to his media back home. And he's made some... Some cracking, cracking, cracking. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He said he's obviously going to be a first team player and he wants to dominate the Scottish game. He says, even though he hasn't kicked a ball for Celtic yet, he has boldly declared that he'll soon be the best player at Celtic as he prepares to move to the Scottish champions. And then he also suggests that he will move from Celtic at some time in the near future and go to even better things and make his countrymen proud of him. He says he'll go to either Germany or the English Premier League. Puyaka throws the money, gives the money, keep him here for a year. He's obviously, he's signed a four-year deal. Um, I, hope, I hope he really does come in and he sets the league alight. I hope he comes in and makes a little name for himself in the Champions League. And it'd be absolutely fantastic if he could sell him to uh, one of the big German clubs or even take some good money from the English Premiership because we know how we like to take good money from the English Premiership now and again. Um, so that, that is some big, bad, bold statement from the player. Uh, I've not seen too much of him in action. You know what these YouTube clips are like? They kind of pick out the best moments. We'll see what happens when he comes in. The fact that he targets a switch to higher places. I must tell you what, um, the, what the Celtic recruitment team must be telling people when they're coming to Celtic. If you do good here, you'll do fantastic and we'll sell you to another club. And we'll just look at some of the players that have moved on. Both deals for the South Korean players have been concluded. It's been confirmed by their teams. But as yet, Celtic have set... Have, They've not mentioned anything. Uh, they're obviously going to make some kind of announcement this week whilst they're in Japan. I would have thought uh, they have ramped up their social media. Their social media has been great. You've even had the one and only post, um, boss saying, make sure you subscribe to Celtic TV to catch up with all the action this week. And yeah, catching paid for Celtic TV. The money's going straight into the pocket of the club. The big news is that Kieran uh, Tierney is now contemplating a significant sacrifice to change uh, what his wage demands. Could there be a homecoming on the cards? The manager has said, look, as far as he's concerned, um, Celtic will not be paying 25 to 30 million at all. They definitely won't be paying over 100,000 pounds in wages for a player. Um, so when you look at the Kieran Tierney deal, is it all just paper talk? Is it all just paper talk? And I noticed it was the I mean, the social media meltdown is Shea Logan. Uh, you go into Twitter and um, who cares? Who cares what he thinks? Do you, know, do you think Scott's really thinking? Who? What? Who cares? You know, he's doing his own thing. He's doing his own thing in management. What is Shea Logan doing? Absolutely nada. And he achieved nothing and he won nothing and he has nothing. Let's just leave it at that and move on. 
when you look at the Kieran Tierney timeline, um, he does hint that he could be ready to move, but it's intriguing. It's intriguing. Well, it's one that we'll keep an eye on. Uh, there's not a lot more Celtic news kicking about today. Thanks for all the comments on the videos this morning. Thanks for the comments on the live yesterday. And I shall see you tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. I'm going to miss the game tomorrow. I couldn't have done this any other way. It's, I'm actually going to be 37,000 feet in the air during the game, which is a bit gutting. So I'll be checking the, the score and I might do a live tomorrow night. I don't know. I'm, I'll, um, I'll see what happens. I might do a live just to catch up and, and see what happened in the game yesterday. Or either that, I'm going to have to try and watch it back on Celtic TV somehow. Anyway, on that note, have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. And Shane Logan. Let's roll up to the